Hi everyone. Today in this video, let us see how to make a custom cursor. What I mean by a custom cursor is nothing but let's say we have an PNG or a JPG or an SVG image. So if we want our cursor to be displayed as uh, the image, that is the instead of having this arrow icon for our cursor, if we want the image that we have in this video, we will be seeing how we can achieve that. So, I have already uh, made the code available for you on the screen. This code will also be available through the link in the description. So, if you see, this is a basic HTML website where we have a paragraph tag and we also have a style sheet importer. Nothing special is written in this form. So, let us see the style styles file. So in the styles file, all other things except these two styles are generic. Like let's say, let's let's uh, see this uh, snippet of code, which is nothing but it just defines the background of the body content. So if you see the star and this paragraph elements style sheet content, you will observe that we have set the cursor attribute of this style sheet. So first we are just specifying that the cursor value as auto and then we are giving an image URL to this uh, cursor attribute. So what happens is all, all, all elements in the web page are selected through this star, uh, uh, star selector that which is nothing but the wildcard selector and the cursor with this image is applied to it as the CSS attribute style. And then for the paragraph elements alone, we are specifying a different image. You could see that this is text cursor and this is cursor.png. So we are just using two different images. Let's just open the image. So this is the image that we have as text cursor.png. So the remaining content is nothing but the, this is the uh, pseudo element of the HTML DOM. So we are just specifying the selection with a background value of black and width is also transparent uh, at, at uh, a very higher level. So, so that it appears as a gray when uh, gray color when we see with a white background. So let's move on to the website. So if you see the web page, when my cursor is outside the website, you will be able to see the normal cursor. And as I move into the website, you can see the image. And when I move over the paragraph tag, you will be able to see the we will be able to see the cursor changing. This is nothing but the image that we saw earlier. So let me select some of the text. So you could see it appears in gray color, right? It's actually not gray. It is black with a transparent, uh, I mean, with a translucent style applied to it. That's it for today's video. Hope you would find this video useful. Thanks for watching and do subscribe and like to the channel.